Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Burt's, it's called Burt's Biscuits and Cakes. These are Benny's Whirls. They have the mince pies. These are actually made in Wells. However, we found them in World Market. World Market this time of year, they get a lot of things, special things out for the holiday season. So the Viennese Whirls were $4.99. The mince pies were $9.99. So, I'm gonna let you have that tray. Looks like it's powder sugary. It says, seriously scrumptious Viennese Whirls. Um, four Viennese whirls sandwiched together with a mixed fruit preserve and buttercream filling. Uh, we've had Viennese whirls before from Mr. Kipling, <laughs> and they're wonderful. Mr. Kipling is That's like your favorite. Love them. So it will be interesting to see how Mr. Kipling compares to these. Of course, they're not. Fruit, are they? Don't, aren't they just like no? Cream? Yeah, uh, I can tell you already. These are bigger, much bigger. That's what they look like on the bottom. Much bigger. And that's on the one. Top, it's got powdered sugar on. One whirl is four hundred. I mean, four hundred. One whirl is two hundred calories. Okay, this one's got like a jelly in it, so it's got a stiffness in. It. No, this one came apart. Okay. It says plum puree, apricot puree. You don't have to eat the whole thing. There's your fourth. It's kind of the the Vinny's roll itself is is kind of hard. It might be crumbly when you bite into it, but those do not hold a candle to mm -hmm. the Mr. Kipling. No. And what's funny is Mr. Kipling is like a, a little Debbie in the UK. It's kind of a, you know, it's a mass produced like cake and, you know, right. cheap, tend to be a little cheaper. And they're, I agree, they're much, much, much better. They have so much more flavor. They seem uh, fresher, the texture of them. Mm -hmm. These, these are hard. These seem. These taste like you would think they would be mass produced. Well, which, which they, they are. are. I mean, they're from this company. Yeah, but they taste it. They taste it. Yeah. They, Whereas the Mr. Kipling actually tastes like a bakery made them. Yes, Mr. Kipling is fresh, and I'm telling you, they don't know how fortunate they are to mm -hmm. have Mr. Kipling yeah. because it's such. I it's wish we had them here. It's a very, very good brand. It does not compare to Little Debbie, Hostess, mm -hmm. any of those that we have here. It, it's so much fresher, and that's why you don't see them uh, a lot in the United States is because they don't put all the preservatives in them, so the, the date, they don't last as long. Mm -hmm. So that's why you don't see them here. Um, these are, these are if, don't judge all the... the no, don't the, judge them by these. You can't at all. Because these have a little bitty dollop of the center. It's really not very big. And then you got this huge cookie thing, and the cookie's just... I mean, the, the world itself is just okay. It's very plain. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, and there's way too much of that powder on the top, mm. so it's kind of cakey in your mouth, yeah. kind of like you've gotten a mouthful of flour. Yeah, these are not worth it. Uh, but now we have seen, I know Jungle Gems is a very specialized place in Ohio. We have seen Mr. Kipling there. I don't know, I'm surprised World Market doesn't sell Mr. Kipling. I am too. I, I really am, because you would think World Market would get them. So this is $9.99, but you do get six mince pies. So it says deep filled with a spiced fruity mince meat containing plump raisins, currants, apples, and candied citrus. Baked in Wells. We've partnered with Burt's Biscuits and Cakes, one of the longest established premium bakers in the United Kingdom, to bring you these festive and rich mince pies. Deep filled with a spiced fruity 18 month matured mincemeat filling and combined with artisan methods makes this one of our finest pies. Maybe eaten warm or cold. So if you want to heat it, you can. You can uh, heat your oven to 350 degrees, remove all the packaging, place in the center of the oven for 10 minutes, serve with brandy, butter, or cream. Yeah, brandy. 
Uh, Mint meat filling can be very hot after heating. Um, one pie is 250 calories. And a lot of people like to tell me, oh, this is terrific with um, custard, or this is terrific with that. And we, I, I'm sure it is. But when we try these things for the review, we like to try them just the way that they're given to you yeah, without okay. adding anything else yeah. to it. And how you eat them at tea time is it's, it's your business. Than, it's yes. different than what we're doing for review. Yes, exactly. Lots of raisins. Mm -hmm. There's something in there with a, um, like a crunchier peel, not in a bad way, just. It has um, raisins, currants, apple, apple puree, uh, mixed peel. It might be pieces of mixed peel, but I don't know. I tell you what, it has a very citrusy flavor to it. Yes, it does. It um, is. Probably more so than, I'm, than some of the other ones we've tried. I agree. Um, and I'm wondering. It's not bad though. It's, it's not bad at all. Who made these? So, it, I mean, it says we've partnered with Bart's Biscuits. They're I mean world market. Is oh, okay, okay, yeah. I got you. I'm assuming that's that's how because it does say that these are distributed by Cost Plus World Market. Yeah, so I think world so market world market has, has partnered with Bart. Yeah, so Bart's, Bart's making still them made for them. them. Um, this uh, it's okay. I would not get this again. Yeah, it's it's a little too citrusy it's for too me. It's too citrusy. Yeah. It you it's so citrusy so acidic in mm -hmm. your mouth that you lose the the raisin flavor and yeah. the sweetness from that yeah. and the spices i mean um these pot mince pies have a spice to it like a like a christmasy kind of spice yes and you lose all yeah and most of the spice is gone it's, it's a lot of they're not horrible i mean if you bought them i think you would eat them but they are very citrusy i think it's ten dollars and and that's expensive compared very, to very what you can get them of course what you can get them for there uh, but, um, yeah, I would pass on this. Yeah, I don't think it's a good representation of mince pie. <laughs> no, I really don't. I, I would not get even, I, I feel bad for people who are going to go in world market and they're going to see these things and think, oh, we're eating uh, Yeah, a little something. piece of the UK. And it's, it's really not. Both of the, neither one of these do the UK justice. Uh, they, sh yeah, it's, I would pass on both of these. You're yeah. wasting your money if you get them. It, it, it's not horrible. It's not anything I would say I hate it or whatever. If it was served to me at somebody's house, I wouldn't say no to it, but I certainly would not spend my money on it again. And I would hate for you to spend your money on it. And I hate to say the aftertaste of this mince pies is I'm getting like I've eaten the peel of an orange. It's, it's very, very bite. bitter. Yes, yes. It's, it's just not a good representation. Yeah. If you really want mincemeat, then they sell it at Walmart in the ba special baking section for Christmas. In a jar. In a jar. It's called None Such is the brand. You, I've got two videos on my channel of recipes we've done. Buy that jar. It's easy, easy, easy to do. Then you'll get a true representation. Yeah, because that has actual flavors. Yes, and it's delicious. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.